Hey guys, welcome to Oddcast, a For Nerds by Nerds show. I'm here with my co-host Joe. Uh, today we actually got some news that came out within the last week or so um, that a I kind of a little smorgasbord. Of yeah, news. yeah, a variable. What <laughs> smorgasbord? <laughs> Come on, man, we've all seen Charlotte's Web a long time ago. I don't, I don't want to think about some water. pig. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, a lot of good news that came out this past week that we wanted to go over with you. First thing that we wanted to talk Gamefly. about. Gamefly. Gamefly is the first thing that we want to discuss. Tell me I'm wrong. You're <laughs> kind of <laughs> not oh, wrong. Not wrong. Gamefly's back, y'all. Netflix <laughs> has recently announced that they'll be doing a video game service, which is going to be a part of their streaming service, kind of like what they did with uh, Stranger Things. I don't 100% know how I feel about that. It's you know what I support anything that's gonna be competition. I'm good with it. Like make it happen. I mean, put out more stuff. Like what, what? The worst that can happen is it flounders. I mean, what's it gonna do? Pull a Stadia? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Stadia um, kind of flopped big time. But I know the only thing that I know is that the uh, previous vice president of EA's mobile department is actually gonna be spearheading this. So, I mean, I don't know. You know that indicates to me. <laughs> microtransactions. microtransactions that's what it indicates to me <laughs> oh man I really want to watch that show ah, it's behind this loot box though <laughs> it's going to be weird I want to. they haven't had, They haven't said too much about it because it's still kind of in the pipeline but I kind of want to see I want to see where they go I mean, they, they have the foundation for it and it's not like they're producing their own games which to me is a better deal than you know what Xbox is doing don't get me wrong Xbox Game Pass I get it it's a good deal Yeah. Um, but I'd like to see more competition for Game Pass before Game Pass eclipses everything. So, Sony, I really need you to step up your game. You've got a huge catalog. Just make deals. Just make release it, it man. Just release it. Just fuse with Netflix. They've got the power, and you can just borrow it. So, speaking of competition for things that are already established, because Netflix is obviously going to do their own take on Stadia, yeah. let's talk about Switch and their iron clutch of the handheld market. Yeah. Um, well... There's a new challenger, and that's the Steam Deck. Yeah, the Steam Deck. I don't think I like the name. It's a new console. It's a new, actually, portable console that the uh, developer Valve had designed. Do you think Soldier Boy is part of it? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't he supposed to have a handheld a couple years ago? I have no clue. I feel like he did. The Steam Deck is supposed to be a portable PC, basically, for that way you can you have access to all your Steam libraries that's that's normally on your laptop or or console or excuse me or your PC, but and I'm now about it's in that handheld. Oh man, Steam sales on handheld? That would be great. That would be kind of cool. But you know I'm what? Okay, lie. so Steam, here's here's the thing. I think that you can do a better job naming it. I would almost say, like, go with engine. Steam engine? Yeah. Because it rolls off the tongue, people already know what it is, or punk. Steampunk? Ah, I mean, I see, what you, I see, stretch. I see where you're going. Stretch, a stretch. Yeah, I see where you're going. What's the what's what's the, the stats on that one? All right, so they've got three different consoles. They have, let's just call them small, medium, and large. I don't understand why they decided to split that up. Like, so it looks like there's the small deck, the three ninety nine. Yeah, six sixty four gigabytes of internal storage, and it's gonna be the three ninety nine. Yeah. And then for the low, low price of $529. You can upgrade that to 256 gigabytes. And then last but not least is the 599, or sorry, the $649 one, which has 512 gigabytes on their SSD. The SSD is really the only thing that makes the difference. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's definitely an increase and I, I, I see why they did it that way, but like, I mean. You know what they should do? They should just copy the PS Vita's formula but as the Steam handheld. The like, PS Vita make it so that, was a really good make it, idea. Make it, it so just... that your library is on your computer, but your Steam engine, that's right, I'm going to call it the engine, but your Steam Deck can take a limited number of games with it anywhere you go. That'd be cool. That'd be cool, actually. Like you plug it in by USB or give it a portal that you just set it down and then like it loads it. Like make it look cool and then people will be like, oh, snap, that looks awesome. I need one. Uh, we'll roll right into Switch. We're already talking about it. They've got an iron grip. Yeah. Uh, they announced their changes for the Switch 2. I'm just kidding. There's no Switch 2. They're not doing that. They just gave it an OLED screen, and yeah. they announced a bunch of features. The Nintendo Switch came out with a new, like we said, OLED screen version, which is $50 more? Yeah, it's $50 more than what your traditional Switch is at present. 
Yeah. It does everything the normal Switch can do. There's no additional storage. There's no... The graphics are a little bit updated because yeah. it's an LED screen, but it's not like a big increase to graphic capacity. Uh, they did some other quality life enhancements. Like I think the grips are a little bit different. Yeah. And I know that the tab that's on the back of the Switch so that if you wanted to stand it up as a standalone, it's larger, which I appreciate because like... That little flick thing. That little phone little back A little piece. like, the little, it looks like a finger on the back. I don't trust it. I'm like, this thing looks like it's just going to collapse. So is it worth the extra $50 for it? If you already have a Switch to convert? No, in my opinion, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, but that's just our opinion. I mean, I'm sure people out there are going to, but. I'm sure. I, during the holidays, I bet there's going to be all kinds of bundles with the Switches. Probably. I Especially mean, think about it. Right now, it's, it's so hard. I had a slight hard time getting my Switch. I had to have my ordered. During the holidays, it will probably be on sale for $50 less, and people will be like, this thing's a bargain. <laughs> but they... Nintendo's got the, the market so cornered that they don't even have to change anything. To they really didn't change. They just gave it a... I think that even... I think the screen's a little bit larger. I think it's, a like, not even noticeably larger. But, but the like, thing is this, like, I mean, I guess I need a larger screen when I'm on the go, but do I need a larger screen when I'm on the go? Eventually, they're going to have, like, a little tablet for these games. And last thing we actually want to go over with you guys is the new release teaser trailer for Witcher Season 2 on Netflix. Speaking of sequels. Speaking of sequels, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Netflix. Yeah. Um, it's about two, a little over two minute long, two minute, 20 something minute long trailer, which, I mean, I'm ex first season was phenomenal. I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and hopefully we get a new song. <laughs> I mean, they had a song playing in the background. Yeah. It definitely sounded like... Dandelion singing something in the background, but I don't know what he was singing. They, if they if they were smart, they would put on a new song. But they for sure are. Sure. I mean, yeah, they, they recapped it. They didn't recap anything. They just were. I mean, it's really point, a, a like, move forward kind of thing. They, yeah, they just kind of showed. When something's popular, do you really have to recap what happened before? I mean, Marvel's got that philosophy now. They don't have to. They don't really recap anything. Yeah, like Not you really. know, if you don't know, why are you even watching it? Like. So, they might do it previously on the very first episode of season two, but other than that, I mean. Or yeah. they'll just. And again, this is just a teaser, so I think it's the longest teaser trailer I think I've ever seen. Well. Or it could be a teaser. So we haven't actually had a for... full out trailer yet. It might be a four minute trailer next time. Yeah, but I mean, I guess when you're doing a, an episodic thing that's like 10 minutes, you can really afford to do that. Like The Walking Dead has like minute long trailers that are a bunch of nothing like <laughs> okay there's shadows Ooh, season 12 is coming like okay but i mean i'm excited to watch season two of witcher i mean it was a great video game i haven't played it but i hear it's awesome you, you know, definitely need to play the witcher 3 yeah i do i need to play witcher 3 but what do you guys think do you guys are you guys excited about the new uh steam deck or as joe's would say steampunk or steam, steam engine, engine. Tell you, the engine thing is going to catch on. If we just start it here, guys, it'll just keep rolling. Do you think it's a good idea for Netflix to actually do some sort of... And it's going to be only Game tied fly. to their streaming. It's not like a disc that goes out like they used to do. It's going to be like in their streaming. Like, I think you have to use a controller. I don't know. Like a the actual remote kind of thing. I don't even I don't think they know. know yet. They haven't really I wouldn't be surprised yet. if they partner with a console in order to make this thing happen. Maybe. Like PlayStation, you just log into Netflix or whatever. I mean, all I'm saying is PSN, PlayStation, Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, are you guys excited for season two? I mean, season two of The Witcher. Yeah, hell yeah. And are are do you are you even curious about the whole OLED screen? <laughs> I'm gonna wait for a friend to get it and be like, glad I didn't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments below what you think and if you're excited for any of the stuff that we went over. And uh, while you're there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and hit the notification. It really helps us out. That way we know that you guys enjoy the stuff that we talk about and that way you're up to date on whenever we do new stuff. But other than that, uh, I guess that's it for us for today. Yeah, have a good one, guys. Thanks Bye. for watching. Later, guys.